everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, as the title says, I'm going to be teaching you how to ban and unban players on a Minecraft server. We're going to be doing this on a vanilla Minecraft server, so any Minecraft server out there can be able to ban people, so that's good. But I'm going to show you how to do that on a vanilla Minecraft server with no plugins, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with like Essentials X, which is a very popular Minecraft plugin that has a really good ban system and allows for things like temporary bans, whereas uh, vanilla Minecraft only allows for those permanent bans. So nevertheless, we're going to go through all that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server, an awesome Minecraft server host, and just a great way to set things up, go to the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an amazing server. Now let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So as you can see here, we're just kind of on the multiplayer screen of Minecraft. We've got my alt down here and my main account here. The first thing I want to mention is you can only ban people on a vanilla Minecraft server if you have op, right? So this big screen has op, this little screen down here does not on this server. Now we can go over here and make sure we're op, so go to your server console and type op space your username, in my case Nick's Games, and hit enter. As you can see, nothing changed because this player is already an operator. However, if you aren't an op, it'll go ahead and say Nick's Games has been opt or your username has been opt in your server. So now let's go ahead and direct connect into this server real quick. We're just going to see this is a vanilla server. If I do slash pl, we'll be able to see no plugins are installed. We are running paper here, but this is going to work the same whether you're in, you know, a vanilla Minecraft server, download from Minecraft.net, bucket, spigot, paper, doesn't matter. This system is going to be the same as long as you have no plugins installed. Now let's go ahead and log on into this. Oh, I accidentally logged into Breakdown Craft there. Let's go ahead and direct connect on into this server here. Boom. We come over here. We'll be able to see Nick King has joined. So boom, we have both my main account, Nick's Games, and my alt, Nick King, in game. Now we wanted to ban my main account over here. We would just simply say slash ban and then we want to type in the username so that's going to be Nick King in this case and then you want to type in a reason right why are they getting banned so for a tutorial right so for a tutorial right like so and then hit enter and then it's going to come over here and say you are banned from this server on the alt they try to join back it's going to say you are banned from this server reason for a tutorial now that's very hard to read there but it does say for a tutorial in that black now there's no way to temporarily ban somebody on a vanilla Minecraft server. They're either permanently banned or they aren't banned. It's one or the other, right? You can either permanently ban somebody on a vanilla Minecraft server or you can permanently ban them. There's no like temporary ban for five days or seven days or 30 days. None of that exists. You have to permanently ban someone on a Minecraft server that is vanilla. That's it. That's your only option. If you want to unban somebody, you would think it would be unban. That's not what it is. It's not slash unban. It is slash pardon, and then it's pardon whatever username you wanted to use. So pardon, and then in this case, Nick King. Boom. That's going to unban that account. As you can see, unbanned Nick King. And if we come back over here and direct connect, we will be able to join the server. No problem, because we unbanned that account. So there you go. That's how you can ban somebody on a vanilla Minecraft server. For many of you, that's all you want. But what if you want something a bit more advanced? Do you want something that's, you know, a little bit more advanced where you can actually see the reason for one and configure what that color is if you want it? And then two, what if you wanted to be able to temporarily ban somebody, right? What if that's something you wanted to do? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with Essentials. So we can go to the description down below and you'll find this link. Link. This is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Essentials on your Minecraft server, but this video right here is a complete setup guide that's going to go through all of the stuff Essentials has in addition to banning, and it has a lot. This plugin really is essential to your Minecraft server, so I'm guessing you probably already have it, but if you don't, come to this tutorial in the description down below, scroll down, click on that yellow Download Essentials button. That'll take you off to their official website or their official Spigot download page, where you can click on Download Now there. Essentials does require Vault to work correctly, so we're going to go to Vault, which you can find in the description down below. When you click on that, it will take you here, where you can click on File, Download Vault for your version. In my case, I'm just going to be grabbing the most recent one because we're on 1.15.2. I will need to keep Vault in the bottom left or save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now, I'm minimizing my browser. Here we have on our desktop Essentials and Vault. These might be in your Downloads folder. If you want to know how to get to that, just click the little Windows icons in the top of my screen, bottom of your screen, click on that, type in Downloads, and then you'll see it Downloads File Folder in Windows. Open that, and they will be in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get these installed on our server. To do that, we actually need to go to our desktop or we have this Minecraft server folder. Open up that folder and then in here, we just want to drag and drop these into the plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a spigot, bucket, or paper server. This only works on spigot, bucket, and paper servers. Vanilla servers, this will not work on. Let's go ahead and open up our plugins folder and then drag and drop vault in. Now for essentials, it's actually a zip file. So we need to open that up and choose the essentials plugins we need. All you need for their banning system is actually Essentials X here. So I'm just going to drag and drop Essentials X in, but I'm also going to grab Essentials Chat as well, just because that helps from chat formatting and things like that. Now we need to restart our server. I'm going to go over here to the CMD, type stop, 
double click on our start server or run.bat file start the server back up and there we go just like that we have now installed essentials obviously we will need to wait until the server restarts to be able to really test this but that's that that's how simple it is to get an essentials band system set up and this is going to be a lot better it's going to allow for things like temp bands it's going to allow for things like you know ip bands or temp ip bands you can ban ips by the way in vanilla minecraft the command is slash ban dash ip space the ip address that's a little annoying and you have to go into console and get the ip and stuff it's not nice but anyway long story short that is how you can do that but essentials x allows for temp ip bands they allow for ip bands and then obviously unbanning people as well so let's go ahead and direct connect into this server right like so let's go ahead and get in here on both accounts there we go we're, we're still in a connection throttle so we'll join with that one in here in a second but here we are in the account because we're opt we have access to all the essentials commands so if we do slash i think it's essentials space help you'll be able to see i mean there are a lot of is it space commands boom essentials space space help essential space help i okay that's not it i don't know how to pull the essential commands in game but there's a lot of them but we're specifically focused on slash ban right and slash temp ban see we've got this new command now slash temp ban so let's go ahead and join in on our alt now the rate limiter should be lifted there we go we have joined in game now to temp ban in essentials it's pretty simple do slash temp ban right like so and then you want to enter in the username so in my case it's going to be nick king because we're banning our alt then what's new here is we're going to be using a time how long do you want them banned so one m right is going to be one month one min that'll ban them for one minute i believe and then you can do everything's like one week you can do 30 days you can do one hour for example, we're just going to go ahead and ban them for, we'll do one day because we're going to unban them, right? So one day, and then you can do a reason. Why are they getting banned? In this case, it's just going to be testing for a tutorial. Now, when we hit enter here, it's just going to kick this alt out. So watch this screen over here to the, to the left. Boom, it's going to kick them out. Now, as you can see, different screen looks a lot better you've been temporarily banned for amount of time 23 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds because one second passed after the ban until this screen then testing for a tutorial now if they go to rejoin right so if they go to rejoin as you can see it says you are banned from this server for 23 hours reason testing for a tutorial if we wanted to unban that player this time we wouldn't use slash pardon we would use slash unban and then their username so slash unban and then in this case it's going to be nick king boom now i have unbanned that player we can rejoin the server without a problem because we were unbanned. That simple, that easy. Again, that command was slash temp ban, then the username, then the time, and then the reason. So slash temp ban, username, time, reason with essentials X, and then that unban was slash unban, and then username. So you can also temp ban IPs, I believe, with temp ban IP, and then a IP address, so 192.168.0.0.0 for example, would be able to do that. Actually, it doesn't seem like you can temp ban IPs. What you can do is do ban dash IP, right, like so, and then enter in like a, an IP address. So it would be 192.168.1.1, and then you can enter in a reason test, and then that would ban an IP there. And you can also ban people permanently with essential. So you can do ban Nick King, and that's going to permanently ban them for the reason of testing. Boom. They permanently ban, but you know it's with essentials because you can actually read this, right? So boom, try to reconnect. It's going to say... You have been, you're banned from this server, reason testing, right? So we can then unban them with slash unban and then my alt username and they can rejoin. So there you go, pretty simple stuff. That is how you can ban and unban players on a Minecraft server. Again, the command without essentials is just slash ban space username and then reason. And then the command with essentials is going to be slash temp ban username time reason, right? So with essentials, you can ban someone and they will automatically be unbanned when that time period is up. And if you want to unban somebody, it's going to be pardon username on vanilla Minecraft servers and on the essentials plugin, it's going to be unban and then username. Simple as that. You can then also IP ban people with slash ban IP and then the username reason. And then you can unban IPs with unban space IP or unban IP and then IP address, right? So awesome stuff like that. That's how you can do that. Very quick recap there. But yeah, you know how to know how to ban somebody on a Minecraft server using both vanilla Minecraft and temporarily ban them using Essentials X. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy your Minecraft server. Hopefully you don't have to ban too many people. 
Come play with us on our Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It is incredible. We have custom factions, custom skyblock, and custom survival. You will absolutely love it. When I say it's custom, I mean it's custom. You're going to love it. Anyway, come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. Almost 200 people online right now, random 5 o'clock on a Tuesday. But my name is Nick. I've been talking forever, and I'm out. Peace.